By the fall of 2012, Mark's been gone since April. Sean's passed away in early September, and it just leaves Diane with her daughters, Sarah, Rachel, and Brianna. In my 30-some years of ministry, I've never had two family members die in the same type of situations ever. After a tough year, finally a bright spot for the Stoudy family. The eldest daughter, Sarah, is graduating from college, which Diane celebrates on Facebook. Sarah was a hard worker. She went and got a degree. She um, you know, was well-liked, had a lot of friends. But in June 2013, the Stoudy curse strikes again. Sarah is seriously ill, and this time the family is rushing her to the hospital. When Sarah came to the hospital, she was the sickest of the sick. She was in what we call multi-system organ failure, and she needed life support from every organ. The doctors told Diane that Sarah's organs were shutting down, that she was hemorrhaging, her brain was shutting down, and they couldn't figure out why. Sarah being ill and in the hospital was, once again, relayed through Facebook. Again, it was, boy, it's really having bad luck with this family. What's going on? You took Sarah to the hospital. Mm -hmm. What are you expecting is going to happen? Do you think you're about to lose her? I didn't know. I didn't know how bad it was till they told me her uh, lab results. She's the sickest 24 year old that we've ever seen. I've never seen a case like that and I really don't know what's going on. Then the detective came and then I said, thank God. When Sarah went to the hospital with the same kinds of symptoms that had taken both Sean and Mark, warning bells went off. Now I see someone fighting for their life in circumstances and events that are just completely foreign to me. All right, and what is your name? So there was an anonymous call made to the Springfield Police Department, alerting them to the suspicious character of both Mark and Sean's death. I shared that I am a pastor and I have a family who's experienced two deaths in a short proximity of time and now has another family member in ICU. I believe that these were circumstances that needed to be investigated. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.